defeat that vile poll tax against that vile Thatcher government. And he's here with us, united, and voted in unanimously as a chair of this organisation. Please welcome Tommy Sheridan. Thanks very much, Fatima. Brothers and sisters, we're here today to stand up united as ordinary working class people across the whole of Scotland to tell David Cameron and his Tory millionaire toffs enough is enough! They tell us we're all in this together. Austerity cuts are part and parcel of the economic mess that we find ourselves in. Brothers and sisters, it wasn't the grandmothers from Addiston. It wasn't the disabled folk from Renfrew. It isn't the poor folk from Dundee. None of them are responsible for the economic mess we're in. Why should they pay for the economic mess we're in? The economic mess we're in is due to the greed and irresponsibility of the Tory bankers and their political friends. It's not the poor that should pay, it's the millionaires that should pay. If we're all in it together, why on the 1st of April do we have a bedroom tax introduced for the poor and the disabled? And then four days later, on the 5th of April, we get a tax cut for the millionaires. No way! No way! They say they want to save money. They want to save 500 million on the housing benefit bill by introducing the bedroom tax. But they're prepared to give away £1,300 million to 13,000 millionaires who got a tax cut on the 5th of April. They want to save 500 million brothers and sisters. Here's a wee idea. We all own a bank, didn't you know? It's called the Royal Bank of Scotland. 82% of it is owned by the taxpayer. That's you and I. Brothers and sisters, last week they announced bonuses for the Royal Bank of Scotland bankers. Bonuses of £607 million. Pounds. They want to save £500 million. We'll go one better. We'll save them £607 million. Cancel the bonuses to the Royal Bank of Scotland. Brothers and sisters, we have got to say here today, this is only one part of our campaign. Each and every one of us has to become organisers, has to become crusaders, has to become the leaders in your local area, your local community. Each and every one of you are leaders of the anti-bedroom tax campaign. And the reason that's so important is because we are unanimous in our opposition to the bedroom tax. People don't have the choice. They're already on the bread line. That's why they're getting housing benefit. We need to say to these politicians, don't they understand? Housing benefit is a means tested benefit. You have to be poor before you get it. Well, if it's a means tested benefit, you have to be poor to get it. It means you're living on the breadline. 
brothers and sisters, if you're living on the bread line, how the hell can you afford anything else for the bedroom tax? That's why we're saying people don't have a choice. Thousands, 105,000 victims of the bedroom tax in Scotland. 83,000 of those victims, disabled households. They don't have a choice. They can't pay the bedroom tax. And what we've got to do, those of us who are not personally affected or that by it, but we are personally offended by it. We've got to say to each and every one of the bedroom tax victims, you will not stand alone. We've got to say here today, there will be no bedroom tax evictions anywhere in Scotland. Brothers and sisters, please take the message of today's demonstration that we're organised, we're standing up, we're not prepared to bend the knee any longer. This, this is a line in the sand issue. We can't pay, but we won't leave. An old trade union leader once said, brothers and sisters, the powerful only appear so because we are on our knees. That's right. Brothers and sisters, get up off your knees and let's pay these people all the way. message loud and clear that this is the beginning of a determined resisted campaign to make a difference in lives 